Okay, hello everyone. My name is Peter Esesele and I'm a PhD student at the University of Alberta. So I want to talk about how much does a master's student earn and also a PhD student as well in especially those that are doing research in Canada. So I'll go over different universities in real time and then we'll search together and then see so that we can compare how much they're earning, you know, depends on the school that you're attending. All right. Let's start up with Memorial University. So type in um, MSc Biochemistry uh, on type it. Okay. Let's see how much does type in is. And we'll go to Memorial University. And then you can see here um, how much our funding is. So for master student, it's around 14, 14,250 to 17,250. You know, depends on whether you're a local or international student. And for PhD, it's about 16,500 to 17, 19,500. Then we can also see information regarding how much an international student pay. You know, so that you can know if you're paying this per semester, let's say as a master student, you're paying international student, you're paying $1,600 per semester, then you can calculate that, you know, for the course of the year, how much you're going to be making once the tuition has been removed. So let's check in um, MSc uh, Biochemistry. So let's check University of... Um, Miss Biochemistry, Manitoba. Yes, let's let Manitoba's type it. So, the Faculty of Medicine, and then we see here for for international students, you see around uh, seventeen thousand seventeen thousand um, eight hundred and fifty for a minimum period of one year you know then that should be maybe renewable in the second year so so manitoba is pretty close to you know memorial university in terms of just you know um the total amount of funding that is typing that they offer so let's check uh, msc stipend uh university of saskatchewan University of Saskatchewan. Okay. And um, so let's put in here biochemistry. That we know we are comparing similar things. So if you go to biochemistry here, biochemistry and immunology. So you can see you know the length of the program. And then if you scroll down, let's see what we're going to get. When we scroll down, so these are the research professors, and then these are the funding options available. So let's see international scholarship. No, not that. Um, so this is the attrition and um, like the departmental funding. So departmental funding by chemistry. So you can see that. A master student have a minimum of nineteen thousand dollars per year, and then for PhD student twenty four thousand dollars per year. You know, so you have to kind of you know see how much their their tuition is for this is for thesis based program. So per year, universal satisfaction is pretty cheap. You know, per year eight thousand dollars. So. If you, remove, if you remove as a master student, for example, if you remove like eight thousand dollars, you know, uh, from the the the, the stipend, then you can kind of calculate, maybe divide that by twelve to know how much you're going to be getting per month when the stipend has been removed. Sorry, when the tuition has been removed. So let's check University of British Columbia, University of British. Uh, 
Colombia. Okay, let's touch that before. So let's see. So you can see here, they said that on the average, uh, the stipend normally range from 25 to $31,000 per year. So they didn't really specify here which of them is for master's and for PhD. But the thing is that there are always a couple of other awards that these are called base funding. There are also a couple of other war, um, scholarships that you can apply for when you start the program. Okay, let's check um, University of um, Toronto. Uh, University of, of Toronto. Um, graduate stipend, I'll just put in here uh, MSc Biochemistry stipend. Let's see. So let's see what they have here. So you can see here um, fees and funding, awards and scholarship. Let me see. Graduate stipend. Okay, you can see here for MSC student for domestic is around twenty eight thousand. Then you know tuition, living expenses, and all the other fees. For international student is about um, forty seven thousand dollars, you know, and then for uh, direct PhD students or direct PhD students, you know, those that direct and also those that do after after that qualifying exam, so thirty thousand dollars for local student and then for international student is for is around thirty one thousand dollars. So the standard is higher. The cost of, cost of living, obviously, in, in, in Toronto might be higher compared to some other you know, provinces. Uh, it also depends on when you're living in all of those provinces, where the attrition is also more expensive, right? So on the overall, like overall, it's usually balanced up, right? It's usually balanced up, so don't really focus 100% on, you know, the schools that offer just the highest typing because their fees are also higher and their cost of living might also be higher as well. So you want to kind of think about that and see how much exactly it is. Okay, let's try University of Waterloo. University of Waterloo, uh, MSc Biochemistry Stipend. Let's see how much funding and tuition, University of Waterloo. So you can see here for domestic students around 24,900 for MSc per year and for PhD students 25,000. And then um, for master student, international student 24,000, it's kind of same, you know, I think both domestic and international students, they have the same, uh, they have the same funding in this university. Then there are also other scholarships that they can apply for as well. For example, there is the graduate entrance scholarship for master students that are just coming in. You know, they are able to get um, uh, $1,500, you know, just as entrance scholarship and then the cost of living. So let's check in University of uh, Guelph. University of Guelph. MSc Biochemistry, MSc Biochemistry Tuition. Sorry, not tuition. Sorry, not tuition. Is uh, stipend. Yes, that's what I wanted to look at for stipend. So you can see here that you know if you see this is reverse of growth, right? So if I click here, so you see that for um master student you know it's about around twenty one thousand two hundred dollars per year and for phd student it's around uh, 25 sorry yes twenty five thousand Canadian dollars per year you know so so these are you know all of the different universities have different funding and 
for the most part, if you're doing a research program and you are looking for, most times the professors in Mali give, you know, the kind of funding that they give are mostly in the one that will cover your tuition and also your cost of living. So really focus a lot on getting a professor that has funding, that will be willing to accept you. Uh, for course-based, you know, masters, so they are the one that really, really look at, you know, um, tuition and the ones that they can afford. So whether you're doing, you know, research masters or or, or course-based, then you have to decide whatever thing that you want to do. So if you want to always search any school you're looking at for, you can always search like this. You know, you can search like this to know how much is a stipend for each of those university. Okay, so that is that for today. I believe you kind of saw uh, today what, you know, different different universities have in terms of their graduate stipend. So um, in terms of their cost of living, it depends on you, right? So it depends on how much you're willing to spend for food, for housing, you know, they are going to give you that, uh, whatever is left from your stipend, they are going to pay that. If you go and rent a house of, you know, $2,000 per month, you rent a house of $1,000 per month, you rent a house of, you know, $500 per month, $400 per month, that is all left for you. That does not concern the university. You know, I say, even though you are staying in, in the residence, it's, it, that is not your universities. That is you. It's your decision on where you are going to stay. The professor is not going to say you have to be on campus, you have to be outside of campus, this is where you're going to stay. So that is a decision that you have to make. So take your time, make your decision, and then I wish you all the best. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video, just looking at, you know, um, how much a PhD student earn and also master student earn in Canada. So if you have any question regarding stipend and funding, just leave the question in the comment section and I will try to answer, you know, any comment or any question that you have. And if you enjoyed this video, just, you know, like the video, share and also hit the subscribe button so that whenever I release any new video, you'll be the first person to get notified. Have a great day and see you in the next video.